Among the Among earliest, earliest recollections, recollections of my childhood, of my childhood were visits to a place I thought very delightful, delightful because it combined the special charms of sea and country. In those days, I lived in a midland city in a large house at the end of a terrace where the rooms were spacious and the garden small, and which looked out upon a public road and the gravelled walk leading to a pump road. Hence, when my parents, led by the old associations and familiar ties, took the children to Falmouth, we enjoyed, we enjoyed the, rare the rare freedom of frocks bedabbled with seawater and little hands embrowned by, by the sun which escaped, escaped being, being gloved. Yet well do I remember the yellow else. shells, no real treasures, treasures picked up on the beaches at the bar, which no longer exist. Which no longer exist. And, then and then too, the old the walled garden, garden in which we played, and the old, the old sheds the near the entrance the pillars to the rope walk, with their two with their great stone balls. That was the Or drove. Finally, Finally, the garden, the garden itself, itself vanished, vanished and, was built, and over. was built over, nothing remaining, nothing but, remaining a but a forlorn and neglected remnant which, which I can no longer, no longer recognise. And, our old and the little villa, once in, once in the country, in the country once found and looking out on elms and fields and hedgerows, became more than ever surrounded by bricks and mortar, times to pay and had a forlorn, dilapidated look, look on like one that has known better days. A darling I thing, I am never to see, Remembers them. but Remembers shall have much Remembers pleasure Remembers Remembers thereby Remembers in leaving to ye being Remembers duly informed Remembers of its being raised and finished to perfection, according to ye model and my directions, etc. St. James's, 16th of May, 1737. I have already charged you in the most special manner, and must now repeat it, and shall rely on your care therein. But there be no inscription in or about the pyramid, or the whole road. No, not so much as the date of the year, hoping it may remain a beautiful embellishment to the harbour. Long, long after my desiring to be forgot, as if I had never been. Circular and arched abrasions to kiss it in three tiers or artillery. The summit is also provided with a train to the artillery. The hole surmounted on the north side is a small lookout turret. Within this hive of their minds, sparing the senses, these burning sands underneath each lower element. And every time she walks between this beach, streaming into black pitch, looking out at the lights of those distant ships, never arriving. Never, for they both in knowing our house, our home, traces of ruins lies beyond the furthering horizon of their vision. Double or a circular ditch, calculating through the phobia of direct eye, you responding to a phobia positioning of his image relative images to her falling on two phobias. Our images projected falling on their phobia, the scene as being directly behind, projected while we falling through the solar rays of the same direction as retina outside their phobia, known as confusion. Seeing above, knowing now you below, can't see what we saw right. in the last of the light left at sundown, or looking straight ahead, depending she upon their area of retina in. simulated. Never needing all to our eyes with ours. I must protect myself from what I truly need. Two images as one, trying to try to try to target simultaneously that day, simulated like day. areas in either. Each. And every it's time I am drawn back here, a vision to this beach and the uh, not other, Drawing to this beach and not the other one I desired before, struck. before all of this began. Were the thoughts of you closer beginning. to me? It's the feeling of the muscles of my arm, both their heads, 
and the vessels congeal. Both their heads lifting the porcelain body of treasure, sable, remaining poised for a fraction of a second, the second split on like the shaft of light through our rafts, revealing her folds, and fresh as our darkened emerald valley below. Lord, I know the bright colours of nostalgia, and thus is my flight from the pains to never return, for I have never been pining, pining for the light to split my mind into all their precious spectrum surpass into extinction. See here my first and last son, an heir unto the lone bearer of my own poison lineage, legacy, cursing a course between your arm turning red as a halo of flame-stricken head. Suddenly feverish, finding him asleep in the room. Steps that grow, one stand in this, her own sense of realising that she could never be held to ideal. I hope the record of the last breaking waves sends shivers to the centre, the crack, the wooden slap of farewell, the very centre of the unappreciative. I've come to see you return, to hail the entry, clamber to the nest and say I long, long after your departure to return. I try to signal, a hopeful beacon on your periphery that you might turn, one reminiscent dart of your eye flickered off the patchwork quilt of salt water, carried on to the galliard dancing rocks that allow the glimpse to slip on, on to the surface of my watch and then beat, your memory in mine, and I watch, still waiting for your return. Come with me, said I, but not before we walk between these and walls still of the door. By hands who have never been, laying out who have never felt. No the desire I refuse to so many this house lies rooted to a place that this, our house, who our lies, home ruins, who lies, yes. merely seen, no words lies. remain unspoken. Lies what? Lies in wait for what? And wait for what? For who? Now for you us, your golden coins for our house is our home, and when ruin, whosoever speaks so such a word will never be welcome here in our house. Every time do you write that, I yield. No. No. In the giving of all myself do I remember the forgotten. You are a fool. To hands, to neck. I write again, realizing we've been alone. To touch. My words, I hope, bring to some love. Sense to love. Day spent on trawling, tomorrow is yet to in love. our garden of majesty, our house. And See you each night. Why? Billowing the fires, you walk. 
Why? When we took it. Why? No fires Why? spring sunshine. Why do I hold to the dust that once held me? Held us. As if nothing I could ever say would mean a thing. Nothing. Nothing now alone. I find myself feeling. Your solitude. Nothing. Without such thoughts in it. Nothing. I'm home to racing to hear you in that spot.
steps would grow, onward moving, the footprints marked, then left. Some elegant and precisely formed, the next crumbling and growing inward, onward moving. The footprints marked, the then left, I'll be with you. Some elegant and precisely formed, in every the next breath, steps would grow, inward, onward the moving. The footprints marked, the then left, I'll be with you. Some elegant and precisely formed, in every breath, I'll be with you. In all the present murmurs, I'll be with you. The daily ripples, in every breath, on I breathe for you. At the frontiers of trepidation, some elegant when glassy separation stems us crumbling, and our silent arms shall ring continuous. In all the present murmurs, I'll be with you. The daily ripples, in every breath, I breathe to you. At the frontiers of trepidation, when glassy separation stems us. Our silent arms shall ring continuous.
always there. The endless shrubs that mark the borders of our newly learnt horizon. Out of bounds. Thick and enigmatic, a barrier and an enticer. A small step forward would catapult you into the daredevil adventuring. To cling to, to swing to, to throwing open branches wide, wider still staring up straight into the sun's eyes. The many branches stemming from a single trunk, the roots whose depth is proportional to the height of the trunk and to the extent and richness of its crown. But all that is well known and often repeated. What is important is to recognise a tree from its flowers and fruit, and not from its bark. This work is connected with the re-establishment of the living word, where conventional misunderstandings emphasise the importance of the bark, symbolising appearances or clothing. It is important to rediscover the true discourse which asks us to look at its flowers and fruit instead. It was the old packet service which came to the aid of the Kilikus, and just like they, the service really made Falmouth. A long, long time ago, when these packet ships first embarked upon the rugged Cornish coast, there happened an event of unrivalled adversity and bravery. The esteemed founders, in their pioneering pursuit, set sail upon the waters blue, journeying further into the expanse than ever before. It was not until danger was upon them that they recognised a treacherous, murky ink in the heavens above, the domain of the merciless god of storms, of the ungracious, double-headed, the lonely packet ship. Praying on its victims below, Lord, a shriek. two heads descended from the darkness End. as John Killigrew, their master, led them onward. With when news of their fierce encounter reached the town, and as the packet finally sailed in and fired her gun with much of her rigging torn away, bearing evidence of a near-fateful cruise. Great was the anxiety, but greater still, and more the rejoicing of the townsfolk on the shore, waving from the newly lit lighthouse at the safe homecoming of these founders. The moment's not formed, the conditions still untraceable, willing it on in a mode of regurgitated action. No one is there, space undeniably owned by another. The surrounding cups and holes, washes and pools of the intangible desire to own. Repeated again.
the steps will follow again. Between remembering and forgetting. Between forgetting and desire. Between love and desire. Between love and honor. Between Kara and fast. Between keeping and face. Between one head and another. Between cliff and alce. Between moor and sky, between sea and sun, between father and son, between son and I, between him and I, between want and desire, between past and future. Between now and forever, will my love burn still for you? Let the light from your lighthouse shine on me. Oh, let it shine on, oh, let it shine. Got that true religion, ain't no doubt about it. Oh, let the light from your lighthouse shine on me. I've got that true religion, gonna sing and shout it. Oh, let the light from your lighthouse shine on me. Oh, let it shine on Let it shine. 